Krauss and I teach third grade and today my class and I are going to read Groundhog Weather School. Okay guys, did the groundhog see his shadow? Yes! He did, which tells us what? Six more weeks of winter. Six more weeks of winter, oh no. Okay. Happy Groundhog Day, everyone. I do not see my shadow. That means spring is Coming. here. Yahoo! Spring is here, sun and fun, here I come. <sighs> well, I guess it's really hard to predict the weather. Was he right? No. No, no there's a lot of snow. Well, it was a good guess, though. No. Dear Weather Groundhog, you are wrong. Spring is not here yet. Maybe you're too far away to predict the weather everywhere. Could you get more groundhogs to help you next year? Signed, the rabbit. Hmm, rabbit's right. I do need some help. But how will I find enough other groundhogs to help me predict the weather all over North America? Have you got what it takes to be a weather forecaster? Are you a mammal? Are you furry? Do you live in a burrow? Are you a rodent? Are you a herbivore? Do you hibernate? If you checked all six boxes, you're invited to attend Groundhog Weather School. The news travels fast. Check. No, 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 no. Not the pig. Check, check. Nuh uh, nuh uh, nuh uh, nuh uh. Not the monkey. Check, check, check. Nope, nope, nope. Not fair. I bet the skunk could forecast the weather too. Check, check, check. Rats, rats. Check, 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 check. Hibernate? No, I don't do that. Check, 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 check. Yay, I'm heading for Groundhog Weather School. Is that the groundhog? Welcome to your first day of Groundhog Weather School class. Let's begin by saying the pledge, the Pledge of Hog Allegiance. We, the students of Groundhog Weather School, pledge to come out of our burrows on February 2nd to look for our shadows and to remember that if you don't see our shadows, it means spring is here. If we do see our shadows, it means there will be six more weeks of winter. I see my shadow when it's sunny, but why would sunny weather mean more cold winter weather is coming? I don't get it. It says here that a sunny winter day may be extra cold because there's no cloud blanket to trap the sun's warmth near the ground. Shadows? Nobody said anything about shadows. Dark, creepy shadows. Cool hair, dude. But you sure? You're a groundhog. Um, I'm a foreign exchange student. Groundhog minus shadow equals spring. Groundhog plus shadow equals winter. Okay, he's a small He is a smart one. <coughs> Geography. Class, please tell us about yourselves. We're the only animals with the holiday named after us. And we watch out for predators. My eyes, ears, and nose are good danger detectors. If a predator is near, I can run for my burrow. I can't run fast, only about 10 miles per hour. Aren't you forgetting Turkey Day, he said. G is my name for groundhog. I'm smaller than a beaver, but bigger than a squirrel. And I weigh 10 pounds. Squirrels, chickmunks, and prairie dogs are all relatives. We're all part of a big rodent family called marmots. Most of us live in the areas that get very cold in winter, like the Northeast or the central parts of the United States and Canada. Groundhog Day began here in Pennsylvania. We dig holes and eat farm crops, so some staples don't allow ground some states don't allow groundhogs, except for graduates of Groundhog Weather School, of course. Like most groundhogs in the northeastern United States, I prefer to be called a woodchuck. In the Appalachian Mountains, groundhogs are called whistle pigs because we whistle to warn other groundhogs of danger. Well done, class. Now, let's visit the library. Research reports are due the very next day. Famous furry hog storicators. So there's Puxitani Phil, and he made his first weather prediction in 1886. He was met by the U.S. President Ronald Reagan, and he started a movie called Groundhog Day. 
And then there was Wilton War Willie, and he was a rare white albino groundhog with pink eyes. He tries to predict which football team will win the Super Bowl, and he gets visitors from as far away as Pakistan. Then there's the General Bertador Lee. He lives in a small white house at the Yellow River Game Ranch and has been on the Today Show. He has an honorary college, college degree. And then there's Jimmy the Groundhog. He's visited by as many as 500 people each Groundhog Day. He has a weather hotline that visits Wisconsin schools. And then we have Buckeye Chuck. He's the official Ohio State Groundhog. He lives in a comfy straw lined box in a park and he visits a radio station on Groundhog Day to give the weather forecast. We have Staten Island Chuck. He has a house with a thermostat on the roof. He lives in the Staten Island Zoo, and eye statues of him are carved on February 2nd. We also have per Perry, and he is really a nutria, a rodent with webbed feet and a long tail that lives in the marshlands or the swamps. He is a Cajun-style house, which is moved to the Plaza Park each year for a big Groundhog Day celebration. And then there's also Sir Walter Wally, Raleigh of North Carolina. And in the week before Groundhog Day, kids record their teacher obser their weather observations. When the mayor announces Wally's weather forecast at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Science, kids watch to see if Wally's the predictions turns out to be correct. So a lot of different groundhogs working together, right? Wow. Did you know there was that many? No. Yes. I, I had heard of Puxitani Phil, and he was the most famous one. And I did not realize there was that many other groundhogs. I, I, I like them. the white I ones. We have nature's weather predictions, too. Some plants and animals can help predict the weather. A tree's leaves can predict storms, and leaves will curl upward so that their underside shows if there's moisture in the air and strong wind blowing. Achoo! Cows don't like the wind blowing in their faces, so they stand with their backs to the wind. Wind blowing from the west usually brings good weather. So if it's a cow's tail is turned towards the west, it often means good weather's coming. Sometimes wet honeybees are too heavy to fly, so they stay near the hive if rain is coming. That's another way to predict the weather. If pine cone leaves fold inward, it may rain in dry weather they fold outward. So pine cones will change their shape depending on the moisture in the air. And then we have weathermen. We have Luke Howard who created a system for classifying and naming different types of cloud shapes, including cumulus, cirrus, and stratus clouds. And then there's Wilson Snowflake Bentley. And he was a farmer in Vermont who took thousands of pictures of individual snowflakes and helped science understand how snowflakes are formed. We also have Evangelist, uh, who invented the barometer, which measures air pressure. And if air is not pressing hard against the earth, it's called low pressure. And that often means it will rain. Can you guess what high pressure system means? And then we have Professor Theodore, you, and he was named Mr. Tornado because he helped figure out how to measure the wind speed from inside the tornado. Lunchtime, everyone, be sure to hog out. It's important to add as much fat to our bodies as we can before hibernation begins. Why do we have to hibernate for winter? Yeah, I'm not sleepy. We hibernate for four or five months between October and March because it's cold and food is hard to find. During hibernation, we are in a deep sleep and our heartbeats slow down. Our body temperatures drop and we only breathe about once every four minutes. We don't need to eat because we live in our off the fat our bodies have stored. So eat up, groundhogs. My friend the frog hibernates at the bottom of a stream where the water doesn't freeze. Oh yeah? Well, my friend the bat hibernates in a cave with their wings tucked close around to keep them warm. How to build a burrow. Step one, dig a hole in the ground to make your front door. Step two, keep digging so that you can clomp through any roots. And this will help you wear down your claws and teeth so they don't grow too long. Step three, we can dig about four or five feet in one day. And if you want a simple burrow, dig about 15 feet of a tunnel. If you want a fancy one, dig it up to 40 feet deep. 
Make a few rooms along the way, such as a bedroom, a bathroom, and a storeroom for snacks. And be sure to make a back door just in case you need to make a quick getaway. I didn't know that's actually how you make a 40 bed. feet. Can you believe how deep that would actually be? Yeah. Fancy yeah. one? It would go really deep. Okay, so the reasons for the seasons. We have a surprise for you, Professor. A skit about seasons. In North America, a year is divided into four seasons of three months each. The seasons are winter, spring, summer, and fall. fall. In winter, I begin around December 21st at the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year. I'm spring, and I begin around March 21st at the spring equinox, when day and night are the same length. Well, I'm summer, and I begin around June 21st at the summer solstice, which is the largest day of the year. And I fall, I begin around September 21st at the fall equinox, when day and night are the same length. There are two reasons we have seasons. Planet Earth orbits, goes around the sun, and also the Earth is tilted. So the equator is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into two halves called hemispheres. And when hemispheres tilt towards the sun, it's warmer, as in the summer. But when it tilts away, it's colder, like the winter. I didn't know Wonderful. That. I'm so proud of you, class. I didn't know that. Whenever it moves towards the moon, it gets colder like winter. Shadow studies. On February 2nd, we will look at our shadows. Can anyone tell me what this is a shadow of? A dark, scary monster that chases me? I know, it's a shade that's made when someone's blocking out the light, right? If there's a solar eclipse on Groundhog Day, we will get a do-over. Move far from the light to make a small shadow. Come closer to the light to make a bigger shadow. And at night, there are no shadows because there is no, no, light. no light. Who's hogging the flashlight? Excellent. I think you're almost ready for your final exam. For the entire day, we have the hog quiz. The big test, a multiple choice quiz. Question one, what day do you come out of your burrow? On your birthday, on February 2nd, or on February 23rd, class? Second. February. Second. Second. On February 2nd, B is the correct answer. Number two, what do you look for when you come out? Do you look for a valentine, a shadow, or a pot of gold? A shadow. A shadow, ding, ding, B is correct. Number three. If you see it, what does it mean? If you see a shadow, what does it mean? That spring is here, that summer vacation is here, or that six more weeks of winter? Six, six more, more weeks, weeks of winter. winter. Six more weeks of winter. Number four, if you don't see it, what does it mean? Are you invisible? Is spring here, or are there six more years of school? Spring, spring is here. Spring is here is correct. And last question, number five. When you see it or not, what's the next thing you do? Do you go back to sleep? Do you have a snack? Or do you report the results to the Groundhog Headquarters? See, you report. See, you report your results to the Groundhog Headquarters. Yay, I passed. Me too, I'm going to New York to check the weather. I got Florida, what a cinch. It'll be spring for sure. Yahoo, I'll, do the, I'll be doing Texas. Get your postgraduates and start hibernating. Remember to set your alarm clocks for February 2nd. We'll be waiting for your shadow reports. We've got October, November, December, January, and finally we have February 2nd. February 2nd. Why are they sleeping so long? We have to hibernate. It's February 2nd at school headquarters and weather reports are coming in from every Groundhog Weather School graduate. Will there be more winter, or is it time for spring? Hello, Groundhog Weather School. What's your report? Uh, does seeing a shadow and a lightning count? Uh, sh 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 shadow. I see a dog. Does that count? Achoo! No shadow. The results are in. I'll rush them over to the professor. Yep, that's a skunk shadow you're seeing, folks. That one's still asleep. He didn't wake up. I see fog, but no shadow. How can I see my shadow without my glasses? Uh-oh. My shadow is divine. I wish you could see it. So some of them saw it, some of them didn't. And one of them, so, and one of them sleep. 
Happy Groundhog Day, everyone. I have some help this year from the graduates of Groundhog Weather School. Most of us saw our shadows, including me. So it's a sure bet the winter will last for six more weeks. Professor Groundhog took my advice and got some help. He's sure to be right this time. I'm going sledding. <sighs> Guess it's really, really hard to predict the weather after all. Boy, that's funny. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our book. Thank you for listening to our story, and you guys enjoy Groundhog Day. That was a good book.